What are we doing? I, I said that I would have to kid. Still. Kids are today? really like the I was responsorial song. I love that. That was my dad's favorite. Yeah. So, it apparently is this one.
this one. This one. This one. Can we move this there so you can serve? So they can serve. You want to do the hand off too? Yeah? I like on a little bubble. We don't have to stay in there. Atrius Antiphon, have mercy on me, O God, for people assail me, like fight me all day long, and oppress me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome and today. Monday of the fifth week of Lent. Uh, we are very blessed to be here to worship God, especially we have a sixth grade and seventh grade uh, worship us, uh, worship God with us here. Let us uh, come before the Lord, acknowledge our sins, so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, 
to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O、oh、God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing, grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life, that we may make ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Daniel. The assembly condemned Susanna to death, but Susanna cried aloud, "O eternal God, you know what is hidden, and are aware of all things before they come to be. You know that they have testified falsely against me. Here I am about to die, though I have done none of these things with which these wicked men have charged me." The Lord heard her prayer, as she was being led to execution. God stirred up the Holy Spirit of a young boy named Daniel, and he cried aloud, "I will have no part in the death of this woman." All the people turned and asked him, "What is this you are saying?" He stood in their midst and continued, "Are you such fools, O children of Israel, to condemn a woman of Israel without examination and without clear evidence? Return to court, for they have testified falsely against her." Then all the people returned in haste. To Daniel the elders said, "Come, sit with us and inform us, since God has given you the prestige of old age." But he replied, "Separate these two far from each other, that I may examine them." After they were separated one from the other, he called one of them and said, "How you have grown evil with age! Now have your past sins come to term." Passing unjust sentences, condemning the innocent, and freeing the guilty, although the Lord says, "The innocent and the just you shall not put to death." Now then, if you are a witness, tell me under what tree you saw them together. Under a mastic tree, he answered. Daniel replied, "Your fine lie has cost you your head, for the angel of God shall receive the sentence from him and split you in two." Putting him to one side. He ordered the other one to be brought. Daniel said to him, "Offspring is canon, not of Judah, but has seduced you. Lust has subverted your conscience. This is how you acted with the daughters of Israel, and in fear they yielded to you. But a daughter of Judah did not tolerate your wickedness. Now then, tell me under what tree you surprised them together? Under an oak," he said. Daniel replied. Your fine lie has cost you also your head, for the angel of God waits with a sword to cut you in two, so as to make an end of both of you. The whole assembly cried aloud, "Blessing God who saves those who hope in Him." They rose up against the two elders, for by their own words Daniel had convicted them of perjury. According to the law of Moses, they inflicted on them the penalty they had plotted to impose on their neighbor. They put them to death. Thus was an innocent blood spared that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is: Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Besides, re- beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. 
Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff, that give me courage. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. You spread the tables before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Even, Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Only goodness and kindness, and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Even, Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Pray to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Pray to your Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord but rather in his conversion, that he may live. Pray to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. But early in the morning, he arrived again in the temple area, and all the people started coming to him, and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and made her stand in the middle. They said, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such a woman. So what do you say? They said this to test him, so that they could have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. But when they continued asking him, he straightened up and said to them, Let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again he bowed down and rolled on the ground. And in response, they went away, one by one, beginning with the elders. So he left alone with the woman before him. Then Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She replied, No one, sir. Then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go from now on. Do not sing anymore. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. This is a fifth week of the Lent already. Have you hold up your resolution, Lenten resolution? 
Anybody? What are you doing in the land? Huh? Nothing? What are you doing special for the Lord in the land? Oh, oh nothing? <laughs> so, yes, I land uh, really motivates us and uh, to do better uh, for the Lord especially and to ch change our life, maybe giving up something uh, to really discipline ourselves and uh, so that we have uh, uh, more love, more mercy in our heart uh, to love God and uh, others. So it really depends on our motivation. Uh, if we really love, love the Lord and uh, we, we want to be a better person, we can really do a lot of things uh, in, in the land. So today's uh, gospel story, is, it's very interesting. Huh? Have you heard of the, uh, today's gospel story before? And uh, we hear a woman was caught um, in the act of com committing adultery. Huh? That's a very serious sin. And the woman was brought uh, to the scribe and Pharisees. And everybody is running her. Huh? She was put into the middle. And uh, they want to test Jesus. And they said, teacher, and uh, this woman was caught in the act of committing adultery. And what shall we do? And according to the law of Moses, she should be stoned to death. That is really a severe punishment. Everybody will cast stone at the woman and until she dies. And you can imagine how painful, how much suffering the woman had to endure especially everybody despise her. So what did Jesus do? What did Jesus do? We are not awake this morning, are we? Monday morning, huh? So what did Jesus do when he heard this? He said the, um, the anyone who has a sin may throw the first stone. Oh, yeah. So actually, before he said that, huh, he bent down and started writing on the ground, right? He was, everybody looked at Jesus. Jesus didn't say anything first. Then he bent down and then write on the ground. What was Jesus writing? On the ground, he used his finger. Can you imagine what Jesus was writing on the ground? It's just people want to stone this woman. And Jesus started to write on the ground. Can you imagine what Jesus is writing on the ground? Anybody give a guess? No wrong, uh, no wrong answers here. What Jesus is writing on the ground? Anybody? No? <laughs> Maybe Jesus right. God is what? God is love. Huh? Maybe Jesus is right. God is love. Huh? And God is mercy. Huh? Maybe Jesus uh, also people speculate. And uh, writing all those people surrounding the woman, right and right sins, right? Everybody has sinned, especially the people uh, at that time, those, those scribes and Pharisees. They are sinners too, right? And uh, people say maybe Jesus wants to awake them and ask them to reflect th themselves on right and right sins so that they know who they are. Huh? And uh, they also deserve maybe some punishment from God, right? And that's why uh, Jesus uh, stood up um, because the Pharisees and uh, the scribes continue to pressure Jesus. What shall we do with this woman? And uh, Jesus says, 
whoever without sin、uh, can cast the first stone. So let Jesus bow down right again. Then what happened? What happened after that? Everybody left one by one、uh, because. Now they have to reflect on their lives. Now they can, they see that they are also sinners,、uh, and they also deserve God's mercy.、Uh, they also need God's mercy, and also they realize that、uh, this woman also deserve God's mercy.、Uh, so, from the elders, one by one, they all left.、Uh, now Jesus left with、uh, this woman. Alone, what did Jesus、uh, ask her? What did Jesus ask her?、Hmm? Now Jesus talking to her. What did Jesus say? Woman, has no one condemned you? He she replied, No, sir, no one condemned me. And then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you.、Huh? Then you go. Do not sing anymore. That's very important. Jesus said to her, "Do not sing anymore." So, what do we learn about Jesus in this、uh, gospel? What do we learn about Jesus? Come on, six grade, seven grade, yes. That he doesn't want people to be hypocrites. Yes,、yeah, some people hypocrite. Because they are sinners, but they pretend they are they are righteous per, per people. They always condemn people, and whenever we do not help self reflect, and we do not realize we we are also sinners,、huh? we tend to to con condemn others.、Huh? But whenever we reflect, oh yes, we are sinners. We need God's mercy now. We do not really condemn others,、huh? but have mercy on them. Well, he wants people to be forgiving. And Jesus wants people to be forgiven. That's very good.、Huh? And Jesus demonstrate that he is mercy itself.、Huh? Jesus had this mercy, and also to be Christians, to be disciple of Jesus Christ, we learn from Jesus Christ, and to be forgiving. And、no matter what,、huh? this is a committing sin. Adultery is a serious sin, but、uh, Jesus forgive her, and、uh, Jesus tells this woman, and、uh, you are forgiven. I want you imagine this、uh, woman, huh? everybody, all these men, caught him,、uh, caught her, put her in the mid middle, middle,、huh? everybody surrounding her, and so much pressure, so so much condemnation.、Huh? But、uh, Jesus saved her, and、uh, so what's a woman? If、uh, Jesus says, "Ah,、uh, neither do I condemn you,"、uh, what uh, what's、uh, in her mind or in her heart at that moment? What did she feel at that moment when Jesus says, "Neither do I condemn you"? She will be very, very great, grateful.、Huh? So, do you think she will say again? Probably not.、Uh, you all shake your hands. She will never say again, probably,、uh, because、uh, she has experienced mercy. That's why condemnation never win people back, but mercy. Ah,、uh, uh, even in our relationship with one another,、uh, we tend to to criticize. Maybe sometimes. And、yeah, we want to condemn she, she or her did such sin、uh, in our class, and she should not be forgiven. But、uh, that will not change the person, right? But、uh, if you offer some advice, especially forgive her or him, and you will win the person back. That's why what that's what Jesus did,、huh? and、uh, she, Jesus come give to life. If remember, if Jesus says according to the law of the Moses,、uh, this woman should be stoned to death, and you lost a woman.、Huh? Also, in our life, in the society, 
we we all condemnation, and the people will get lost, and they will be very bitter, and they probably they feel that I'm condemned, I'm worthless. Then the person will get totally lost in society. You will never win the person back. Huh? But uh, if we forgive, uh, we, if we have mercy on uh, uh, have mercy on the person, and the person can change. That's why Jesus come to change everybody's heart uh, to be a good, good person. And especially, Jesus says, "Do not sin anymore." Huh? So mercy can convert sinners. Huh? So that's a lot of things we can learn from this story about our life, about our relationship, how we relate to others, and about really win the sinners for Jesus Christ.、Huh? We are disciple of Jesus Christ, and to be disciple of Jesus Christ, we always preach about mercy, not a condemnation.、Huh? That's our church. That's the message that Jesus want us to hear. So take the message of mercy into your life.、Huh? And mercy can win bad people. And mercy really please God. And mercy. Can stop sin. Too many sin, too many hatred already we experience in this world.、Huh? But、uh, we need a lot of mercy. We pray, and now for our prayer for our world, especially those people probably being condemned, and、uh, those who condemning people all need prayers.、Huh? Let us pray for God's mercy for ourselves and for the world. Let us stand. My dear friends, we stand between two great days. The Lord is our shepherd, and there's、uh, nothing we shall want. Let us、uh, pray, place before Him our needs and the those of. Our world. I invite、uh, our student who prepared the petitions come forward. No, oh, yeah. Now we offer prayers to our loving God. We pray for all church leaders, that they are guided by the Holy Spirit to make righteous decisions and teach others the way of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for all of the world leaders, that they work selflessly towards peace and make good decisions that benefit everyone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for all people affected by conflict, strife, and trauma, that they may find safe haven and live in peace and tranquility. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for all refugees and homeless people around the world. May they receive compassion and shelter. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for those who are sick that they feel God's loving touch of nature and care. May they find health in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for members of the Saint Anne community and parish who have died that they are happy in heaven with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for any other intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We also pray for all our beloved deceased, and especially we pray for Cretan Saint Roger and Jesus Posadas. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Grace and loving God, we know you are very merciful, always are sharing blessings and graces upon us. We offer our prayer to you, and may you hear them and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in the earth may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O oh Lord, that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries, we may bring before you as a fruit of bodily penance, a joyful purity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart 
to confess the infinite power of Your Majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, you, Your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give You thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Salvatore our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Jesus and Christensen and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, and saviors, command and form the by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Body Christ.
Let us pray. Strengthened by the blessing of your sacraments, we pray, O Lord, that through them we may constantly be cleansed of our faults and by following Christ, hasten our step up toward and toward you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your hands and pray for God's blessing. Set free from their sins, O Lord, we pray, the people who called upon you, that living a holy way of life, they may be kept safe from every trial. Through Christ our Lord. Thank you all so much uh, for attending the Mass and all for our prayer, especially our lectors and uh, those students who did the petition and our altar servers. Thank you so much. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. You all have a blessed day.